uh, uh, repertoire, and that consisted of you know, uh, gospel songs that Judith had brought to the group, and folk songs that we already knew, and some uh, colonial ballads and things like that. And uh, anyway, uh, the, the agency uh, booked us into various places. Is anyone here from the north of England? Is that <coughs> I can tell some lies then. Uh, yeah, they booked us into this, <laughs> this uh, fantastic little town called Fernscoe. It's in East Yorkshire. And anyway, uh, we rented a station wagon and we drove up from London straight there. It took us two and a half days. But still, uh, we got there and then we arrived at the front door of this club to see what looked like the only promotion that they had done for our gig there was this giant blackboard A-frame thing right outside the front door. And on it, someone had written uh, in chalk, This week, The Seekers by Pubic Demand. <laughs> oh, Judith was so upset because she thought we were on for two weeks. <laughs> anyway, no, uh, Bruce and Adam and I uh, trying to live up to that reputation, but we only lasted a couple of days, I think. Uh, but it uh, must have been the water. Anyway, uh, as I said, we were relying on our coffee lounge repertoire and uh, songs like this one. After the, after the show and say, hey, hey, dude, um, what's a swaggle? <laughs> and sometimes we'd uh, tell them the truth, and sometimes we'd get a bit mischievous and say, well, you know those little black things that hang off the back of sheep? <laughs> <laughs> and they'd say, uh, oh, yeah, over here, we call them dingleberries. It's only recently I thought, well, that would be a great name for Donald Trump, wouldn't it, really? <laughs> <laughs> or other people. <laughs> you tell me after the show. <laughs> but anyway, uh, at that stage, I, uh, when, when the group broke up in 1968, uh, um, I stayed on in England and I uh, uh, formed the New Seekers with my uh, then business partner David Joseph, and uh, we had uh, great success with them as well. Anyway, then um, uh, I came back to live in Australia and uh, we reformed the Seekers. And um, I was lucky enough at that stage uh, for the group to uh, pick up on some of the songs that I had written in, uh, you know, at that time. And four of them uh, ended up on the Future Road CD that we put out as a studio album. Anyone here got the Future Road album? That's where that copy went. <laughs> I, yeah, so funny. I, uh, we're in a, uh, an op shop just uh, down south here, and uh, uh, what did I 
was looking through the CDs, and there's a there's a copy of Future Road, <laughs> shrink wrapped. It hadn't even been opened <laughs> for eight dollars. It's, really, it's quite rare, actually. I'm going to put it on eBay for nine dollars. <laughs> Instant profit. Fantastic. Anyway, on on that CD is a um, is a song that I um, as I said, co -wrote, uh, that I wrote called uh, Guardian Angel Guarding Light, and I was lucky enough to. Uh, seeing that as my solo spot in the Seekers tour that we did just recently over in the UK and Australia and New Zealand. Did anyone see the Seekers when we were touring through here? Ah, uh, hey, not only have you got the future road up, but you've also seen the group. Right, thank you. Um, and uh, uh, it's also on one of my solo CDs, which are just there by the door. And uh, I'd like to sing my version of it. Now, I, I wrote it as a love song. And then I hope it would be uh, mm -hmm. it would be okay for things like um, weddings and anniversaries. Uh, anyone got a wedding coming up? No. Anyone got uh, an anniversary coming up? Anyone got anything coming up? No. I've got a prescription in the dressing room I can pass over. <laughs> anyway, no, this is it. I, and I, I love to sing this song and dedicate it to some wonderful people in the community called the carers. They're, they, they're often... Uh, well, not given the credit they, that they are uh, due and deserve uh, because they're fantastic people and give very selflessly, but the, but the uh, uh, carers of the world. So, this is Guardian Angel Guide Flight. Oh, hang on, that call might be for me. <laughs> no? It's not for me? No, oh, sorry, okay. Never mind, missed another one. Okay, take a message, please. Sorry. Guardian Angel Guide Flight. I love it when people leave their phones on. It's a, it's a, uh, and in fact, you can all turn your phones on if you like. I, don't know. I, I love it. Okay. Guardian Angel Guardian Angel.
Well, from a song you probably don't know to uh, a song that hopefully you will know. Uh, I mentioned, uh, uh, I'll never find another you being a hit in 1965. Who remembers the 60s? Yes. I'm talking about the 1860s. <laughs> uh, well, this, uh, the reason I mentioned that is because um, uh, this next song is, was written in 18. 65, and it's amazing that it is still so, yeah, well, so incredibly popular. And I've got a funny feeling that uh, I'll never find another you will, will be as, uh, as popular in a hundred years time or, you know, sort of in 2065, whatever. And um, anyway, it goes like this. I wander today to the hill, Maggie, to watch the sea below. As we used to long, long ago The green grove is gone from the hill, Maggie Where once the daisies sprung The creaking old mill is still, Maggie Since you and I were My steps are much slower than men. My face is a well-written page, Maggie. And time all along was the pen. Oh, they say we have outlived our time, Maggie. As dated as songs that we To me, you're as fair as you were, Maggie, when you and I were. Oh, they say we have our lived our time, Maggie, as dating as songs that. Yes, amazing. So, 1965, that song was written. Okay, uh, and also talking about Tom Springfield, the wonderful uh, songwriter and uh, producer. Uh, he didn't write all our songs. We're very lucky, in fact, to uh, have a, an incredible uh, children's song, a lullaby, a wonderful lullaby, uh, that I found on, a, on an album even before we left uh, Australia to go to England, actually. And uh, anyway, so we had it sort of in our repertoire, but we were waiting for the right opportunity to release it in the UK and so we did that just before Christmas in 1966 and it was a number one hit then and of course I'm talking about uh, Morning Town Ride and um, that was written by Malvina Reynolds a wonderful uh, person in the in the uh, folk uh, era alongside people like Pete Seeger and, and Woody Guthrie and all that lot and she also wrote a song called um, uh, Little Boxes do you remember Little Boxes? Mm -hmm. She was supposed to be writing a follow-up called a big boxes, but she didn't quite get that one. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I, I was at this uh, kid's birthday party uh, a few months back now, and uh, the kids were about this tall, so I thought, well, singing uh, Morning Town Ride would be an interesting thing to do. So I sat in the corner and started singing, and this little group of kids gathered around me, and uh, then the birthday boy, who was right across the other side of the room, he came up and stood right in front of me and he made me so unsettled I had to stop singing. So he looked me straight in the eyes and he said, Why are you singing a wiggle song? <laughs> so, oh, so I rose to my full five foot, twelve and a half inches and said, Excuse me, young man, do you know who I am? 
And the kid turned to his mum and said, yeah, mum, this bloke over here doesn't know who he is. <laughs> How galling was that? Anyway, so I, I went on the internet and uh, did some research because that's where I get all my information these days. And blow me down, the Wiggles have recorded Morningtown Ride with Jimmy Little, R.I.P. Anyway, it's, it's great because they're, they're, um, they're really good friends of ours and, uh, and we just love the fact that music goes round and round in these wonderful circles. So, uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, let's, let's have a go at it now, shall we? Here we go. Okay, after four. One, two, three, four. Train whistle blowing Makes a sleepy noise Underneath the blankets Go on the girls and boys Rock and roll and riding Rock and roll and riding Out along the bay Out along the bay All about the morning town All about the morning town Many miles away That's great Driver at the engine Fireman rings the bell Sandbag swings the lantern to show that all is well. Rock and roll, rock and roll and ride and out along, out along the bay, all bound for, all bound the morning town, many miles away. Maybe it is raining where our train will fly. All the little travels are warm and snug inside. Here we go! Rock and roll and ride out along the way. All about the morning town, many miles away. Somewhere there is sunshine, somewhere there is day. Somewhere there is morning town, many miles away. Rocking, rocking, rolling, riding out of the bay. All about the morning town, many miles away. Okay, it's your turn now. A little bit louder, please. Ah, oh, that's better. Coming in here and practicing, aren't you? 